definitely not halite. Oh, good morning. Greetings from Southern California, USA. Doing a little dumpster diving this morning near the Santa Ana Mountains. You can see them there in the background. They're part of the Peninsula Ranges down in Southern California and uh, actually have some of the oldest rocks in Orange County. I'm gonna be looking for two different formations. There's the Bedford Canyon Formation, which is made up of meta sedimentary rocks from the Jurassic period. Uh, we're talking the age of the dinosaurs, late Jurassic, 100 million years ago. And then uh, there was some subduction off the coast of California uh, of the Farallon Plate, and it created volcanoes. We, the most famous ones created by the Farallon Plate are the Sierra Nevada Mountains. But the Peninsula Ranges are actually associated with that same event. So not only are we looking for metasedimentary rocks from back then, but we're also looking for extrusive and intrusive igneous rocks from that Farallon subduction event where magma was created. Some of it made it to the surface and some of it didn't. So we're dumpster diving in the sense of going up Trabuco Canyon. This is a creek that comes out of the Santa Ana Mountains. And what better way to find out what these mountains are made of by coming into a creek bed where all the erosional debris is being collected. So we're just gonna trailblaze up the creek and see if we can find something interesting. Join me. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say meta sedimentary rock? Uh, what is that? That's right, meta sedimentary rock. So what is that? Well, let's break it down. Well, what's a sedimentary rock? I think most of us are familiar with what that is, right? Well, in this case, in the Jurassic age, there was a shallow to deep ocean right here. And sediment was being generated by rivers into this ocean and going to the bottom of the ocean and creating bedding plains of sediment, which eventually became a sedimentary rock. That's the Jurassic age sediment here. Now, how does it become a meta sedimentary rock? Well, what is that? Well, meta means it changed, it underwent change. And it can be done different ways. It can be done by extreme heat, by extreme pressure, or both. And I think in this case, since you have the Farallon plate that was subducting under the North American plate at the time and creating magma plumes coming up underneath this, you had extreme heat from this magma that was coming in contact with the sedimentary rock. And when that happens, it can become a meta sedimentary rock, which means it lithifies the rock. It becomes a metamorphic rock. So sometimes you'll see these rocks and they have a sedimentary layer look. Looks like they have layers of sedimentary bedding planes in them, but they're hard as rock. Sorry for that dad joke, pun intended. Uh, so like if you think about a, like a sandstone or a shale, you think of, oh, you could like break them, right? They're soft or you could break the shale along the bedding planes. You can't do that with these meta sedimentary rocks. You can see that they have planes, but when you break them, they break across them. That's a meta sedimentary rock. And hopefully we'll see some examples of that here. Hey people, pop quiz time. What do we got here? Is this a meta sedimentary rock or an igneous rock? Uh, I'm gonna say igneous. You are correct. This is an igneous rock. Bonus question, intrusive or extrusive? Uh, intrusive? You are correct again, this is intrusive. And the reason we can say so with such certainty is you can see the individual minerals within this igneous rock. Do you see the gray quartz crystals? Do you see the white plagioclase feldspar? The black, oh, I'm not a professional. I'm thinking that's biotite. From what I was reading, this is called tonalite. It's a type of granite, it's an intrusive igneous rock and it's more felsic than mafic, which is why it is more white than dark. Now, we said this was intrusive igneous, so this rock, putting in context of the Santa Ana Mountains, this would have been part of that magma chamber deep underground from the Farallon Plate. It was melting that magma coming up beneath. This is a piece of that magma chamber because of the big crystals in it. It's an intrusive igneous rock. This rock right here comes from a magma chamber over a hundred million years old. How about that? Let's keep going. Okay, I think I found some of that Bedford formation. Remember, that's not the igneous rock, that's the meta sedimentary rock. Check this out. 
Okay. Meta sedimentary rock. Do you see the banding? So this sediment was originally laid down most likely in a deep ocean because you have clay to silt size grains here in bedding planes. However, this isn't a sedimentary rock. This thing is hard as rock. I can't use the same joke twice, but I just did. So this has been cooked. Used to be sedimentary rock and then was put under extreme heat, pressure, or both. And it was cooked and turned into a metamorphic rock. And you can see the planes there, right? I'm gonna hit this with my rock hammer and I'll show you that it does not break along those planes. Okay, always remember to wear your eye protection. This is the first time I've used this. My goodness. Okay, so I hit it with the rock hammer, which was very satisfying. And as you can see, it fractured just kind of randomly. The fractures did not seem to prefer these apparent bedding planes, right? Now, if this was a shale and I hit it like that, it would break along those bedding planes because that's the point of weakness. But as you can see here, this is random. So this is more evidence that this is a meta sedimentary rock cooked by an ancient magma chamber below the Santa Ana mountain range in the age of the dinosaurs. Hey, do you guys mind if I hit some of this intrusive igneous rock with my rock hammer? I just got the rock hammer. I'd like to use it if you don't mind. The reason you want to break open igneous rocks is the outside of it is all weathered. So it's kind of dull. Can't really get the look of what the minerals actually look like. You need to expose the minerals from within. Nick Zentner calls them fresh minerals. Copyright trademark. All right, let's do this. Eye protection's on. Weak. Come on, you can do this. No, I can do better. Okay, here we go. Great. Here we go. Look at that. Fresh minerals. So again. This is the intrusive igneous rock. The grays are the quartz. The whites are the feldspars. And I am gonna guess that the blacks are the biotite mica. And this is more felsic than mafic. It's more light than dark. Intrusive because the minerals are so big to the, to the naked eye. So again, this is part of the ancient magma chamber. I know I'm repeating myself, but look at this. It's good stuff. And it's all over the place. All in this dumpster of the Santa Ana Mountains. Well, thanks for dumpster diving with me out here in Tribuco Canyon, coming out of the Santa Ana Mountains, part of the Peninsular Ranges here in Southern California, exposing some of the oldest rock that we have here in Orange County, this meta sedimentary rock, originally laid down in the Jurassic time, the age of the dinosaurs over a hundred million years ago. Let that sink in. And then it was real cool to see parts of that original magma chamber that created some of that metasedimentary rock. And we got to see some of the fresh minerals in this. So that's really cool too. So thanks for joining me. And we're gonna go ahead and see you next time.